So we're back again with Jennings Key and we're on to the track planning phase. As you can see here I've tried to print off a full scale track plan that I've put together on SCAR. Uh, small mistake, uh, somehow I'd managed to make my plan, I don't know, 80mm bigger than the baseboard I already have, but because it was a straight section in the fiddle yard I've just folded the paper and it out of the way. From this I've tried to trace this onto the original back, uh, the original baseboard. Um, if you see here where it's a dotted line, it's because this is double track and the spacing will be dictated by the points and the correct spacing for double track. Um, as you can see with this baseboard, where I've made cutouts for the original turnouts, uh, for the servos they're now in the way so I still need to work out whether I'm going to I think I'm going to build a second deck so that I've got the this portion here is the water layer for the key side and then the rest of the baseboard will sit half an inch or an inch higher so now you can see the skeleton frame I'm going to have at the bottom and this is an important reminder to plan ahead when I built this original skeleton I hadn't actually finalised the uh, track plan and checked it and I ended up with a point motor right through the middle of this uh, the construction method will be the same as before which is pocket holes, which just make putting together a frame like this really easy and then I will glue it as well and then I'll put a plywood top on, same as I did before I've got some uh, recycled ply that's looks about 6mm thick and that'll do for the top I'm just going to run over the most complicated bit of making this second baseboard which is the front edge which is profiled for the dock area. Now I have measured it up, cut an angle joint, oops, there and there, made all the pieces. Now I'm, I'm going to use the pocket holes, which you should be able to see here and here, to help clamp it in place, but it's mostly going to be held together with glue. Uh, so, to make sure it's all in the right place, I've clamped everything down to the frame. I put this torn off bit of plastic bag down. This will stop the glue sticking the frame to the lower baseboard for now. It will get stuck down eventually, but for now, I don't want it stuck down. So, whilst it's like this, I'm going to glue it into place there and there. Use the pocket hole screws to hold it in place and I'll get it all clamped up and then I'll be able to carry on making the rest of the baseboard.